Hi, my name is Ian Frederick. So my first injury happened when I was in a hockey game and um, I made a lot of checks. And for this one, um, I checked someone at kind of an awkward angle um, into the boards and our heads collided and um, his head hit the boards. And I felt kind of dazed, but I hadn't really had a concussion before, so I didn't know. So I kept playing the game, but afterwards, um, my dad said that he could notice. After the game, I felt kind of, I had a headache and light sensitivity was starting to, um, a few months later, I flew out to a camp in Colorado for inlining. And um, I think it was the first day when, so we were on this bank track and inlining is kind of like rollerblading, but we have bigger wheels and so we were going into a turn and the group was kind of spread out and so when you want to slow down you put your hand on the other person's back and I was entering the turn and everyone kind of slowed down and I think that launched me into it so my body twisted out and I crashed and I broke my helmet and uh, that was pretty bad actually right after um, I got evaluated by like a medic there and then I was sent to um, the Olympic Training Center in Colorado and um, they told me I totally had a concussion and I had light sensitivity again and that was pretty annoying. So I had to patch myself up and put on my glasses and fly back to Utah. They actually pulled me out of the line onto the airplane and like they had me checked extra because of how sketchy I looked. My name's Alyssa, I'm Ian's mom. And I, having five kids, I never thought about, I never thought much about trauma and head trauma. Um, my kids wear helmets. And both of Ian's accidents happened with helmets on. So even though yeah, I thought I was prepared and thought that everything was somewhat planned for, it's just not something that we could actually plan for. Um, after Ian's first concussion that he got while he was playing hockey, it was hard to see him change. It was hard to see, you know, he just kind of was more removed from everybody else and wanted to be on his own, which Ian's usually quiet, but that was a new kind of quiet. So he wasn't part of activities and he wasn't doing school and he just didn't even want to come out of his bedroom because it was dark and comfortable there. And as we talked to more people and parents during different sporting events that we're usually at, which was a lot of hockey rinks, it was hard to see and hear about all these other people that we didn't realize had concussions. So it made me really wonder what we could do. We visited our pediatrician. We had the normal talking to about saying something if you hit your head and if you don't feel good about it. But there really wasn't a push for any kind of a treatment, which I wasn't really happy about. I didn't like that at all. I wanted an answer about how to make things better. We heard more stories from more parents of more kids that were affected by concussions, and this is one option that came up was cognitive effects. Um, my friend recommended cognitive effects because she'd been a patient here after a car crash. The first few days were kind of hard, um, with the intervals and breathing and doing things that like I'd never done before all at once was pretty difficult. Well, in the second MRI, um, I totally knew that I improved with the uh, photo tests. I really liked using the balance board in uh, the training room and I also enjoyed Dynavision. When we saw the report, um, it was really nice to see all the improvements that I've made. I'm in medical imaging myself, and I mean, I knew about functional MRIs, but I also know that it's not something that's streamlined for insurance purposes. So that's difficult. It's difficult to think about something that you know is there technologically and that works, but that insurance hasn't picked up on yet. So so report of findings was, was interesting, and I thought and I was really glad to see that there were changes for the better. But it was also, you know, made that reality that, you know, what, what can they do in a week 
which was awesome. It was like a springboard to be able to continue to improve for the next few months. I definitely recommend this if you've had a concussion.